Hello ladies and gentlemen, fantasy fans big and small. Welcome to the first of what I hope will be an ongoing series on the channel. Before you read is a series of short videos where I'll give you a quick breakdown of what you can expect going into a book or series before actually reading it. I'll also be keeping this as spoiler free as possible of course. Beyond just a few basic premises and background information, there really won't be any information on the actual plot intricacies of the work in question. But now that we have that out of the way, let's dive right into the meat of the matter, shall we? Like I said, this is supposed to be short. Warbreaker is a standalone novel, as of this recording, by Brandon Sanderson. It's a fantasy mystery set in a world where magic, religion and politics become intertwined. We're in the world of Nalthus, and we spend the majority of our time in the tropical kingdom of Halandrin. Based around a governmental system where gods walk amongst men and run the country, the nation is one of the most powerful kingdoms known to the denizens of the world. Set in a tropical environment and climate, a lot of the architecture and fashion mimics that of the Incan or Mayan civilizations. The gods and their high priests rule the land and answer only to the one god king. Our story takes place only a short while after a tenuous peace treaty was signed between the nation of Idris and Halandrin. Idris is seen as little more than rebels in the eyes of the gods since the royal Idrian family once ruled Halandrin before a great calamity known as the Many War shook up the political landscape and forced the Idrian royals to flee their palace. The time has finally come for the Idrians to fulfill their promise of sending the royal princess to marry the god king in what should be a politically advantageous union. The Idrians hope it'll be enough to forestall what they fear will be an imminent attack on them from the Halandrin who want to just finally rid themselves of the rebels. Why do the Idrians fear the Halandrin? Well, besides their economic and military superiority, they also fear the magic the Halandrin have at their disposal. You see, in this world, every person has what is called a biochromatic breath that they can use to control objects. One can gather a great number of these breaths and become a powerful mage known as an Awakener. Awakeners can infuse inanimate objects with their breaths to follow simple commands. A cloak can shield you from harm. A rope can twist around your enemies and tie them up or choke them to death. Clothing can come alive and fight as real men. One can even reanimate a corpse to create an undead soldier that'll fight relentlessly until either the enemy falls or the corpse can't even move from all the damage. The Idrians fear this power and so are forced to accept the wills of the Hellandrian court of gods. Our story begins with four main characters two sister princesses of the Idrian royalty, a mysterious awakener with dubious intentions, and a god from the court of gods itself. Join Vasha, Ciri, Lightsong and Vivenna as they uncover the political plots brewing in the verdant and colourful kingdom. Warbreaker is the story of secrets, intrigue, redemption and empowerment. Once you've read through this amazing story, be sure to check out my other spoiler-filled videos I've made on the novel and its characters. But that was basically it, just this little snippet for Warbreaker, that's essentially what this Before You Read series will be. Just a quick primer on the books that I'll be talking about, so that you can jump into the book immediately but have some context knowing where you're going. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe and if you have any suggestions for other books you'd like to see in this series or uh, for any books you'd actually like me to read and make videos on, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But that's been it for now and I'll see you next time.